What's up guys, what's going on? Camp Out coming at you with yet another review. As you can see, Nike Box. Uh, <laughs> every time you see Nike Box, I'm pretty sure you're gonna hear me say something that you usually don't see on this channel, so I'm not gonna say it today, but you already know. These are Air Force One High Lux. Um, 10 and a half Vanchetta. Uh, you, if you're not reading the box, you can see exactly what it says there, but I'm just gonna open them up and get right into it. So, <laughs> if you guys are unfamiliar, I really don't like Air Force Ones. <laughs> I, uh, I say it all the time, but every once in a while they drop a shoe that just really grabs me by the horns, I guess you could say. Either way, uh, the colorway is fire. This was the shoe I definitely wanted. I did pick up the LeBron Zoom or the uh, Zoom generation as well, but this was the one I was going for hands down which a lot of people weren't going for very, very, very surprisingly. I don't know why, but either way, let's get into it. Vanchetta tan leather across the entire shoe. Uh, you can see all the hitch, you got your toe capping. It's all one color, so you really have to get too crazy. Pretty dope stitching detail across the four fronts of the shoe leading into the toe box. A little bit of perforation, Air Force One lace lock at the bottom here. Very, very fire. Uh, it has a, let me get a little closer so you can see what's going on there. So it's embossed with uh, AF1 on there, a little leather hit, all, all vanchetted leather, it's, it's, it's very nice. Either way, I'm gonna roll into the rest of the shoe. You can see that stitch work again across the, the mid panel here. Again on the swoosh, wrapping into the heel portion of the shoe, which we'll get into in a second. As you've probably already noticed, you got a couple of rose gold hits a little glue staining on this rose gold hit up here uh, for the strap across the shoe. This is a high, which I typically don't buy ever, but it doesn't feel like a high once you have it on. It feels more like a mid or a, um, uh, I don't know, whatever. It just feels more like a mid. A lot of stitch work in that strap, that strapping area, as you can see here, all zigzagged across the entire thing. Detail is on point. They were 275, if I'm not mistaken. The price point was a little steep, yeah. Uh, 275 plus tax, so they were a little a little rich. You got this little tasseled area across the heel portion, which I wasn't the biggest fan of, but it doesn't look bad once you have it on. A little bit of denim, whatever you want to go with. You also have to be careful because the liner inside the shoe is uh, it's very soft. I don't know what if it's cotton. It's it's definitely not nylon, but it's it's some sort of cotton inside there. But either way, it's really really soft. You could see Air Force One across the bottom of the footbed. I don't want to pull the footbeds out because it's kind of difficult to get it back in there. I tried it already once. They are a 10 and a half. Uh, Air Force Ones run a little bit big. I do go with the 10 and a half just because I like to not have a heavy crease portion in the toe box area. So I do throw decreases in them typically. I'll probably throw one in when I do the on foot for this. Lace options are this, uh, it's like a twill kind of cotton all the way through the entire thing. You got some pretty dope aglets on here that do detach. Air Force One, very heavy consistency on this bad boy. Super heavy. You got a Nike swoosh on the bottom portion of that. Air Force One lasered in. A couple of stars, I guess, to match the stars. Either way, pretty clean. You also got a rose gold ring for the strap instead of just the, uh, the usual loop through with the plastic piece. Uh, I already showed you the rose gold hit on the back portion of the strap, and uh, that's pretty much it. Out, okay, that was pretty heavy. What did I drop? Drop anything? Uh, outsole has got like a cream color to it, or outsole has got a cream color to it. Uh, midsole's got more of a white. You can see a little differential between the two colors, but not much. Overall, very, very clean shoe. If you didn't pick up because of the price, it, it's definitely worth it. If you were thinking about it or contemplating it, like I said, there will be a, uh, I think a wider release this weekend. I will do an on foot for you guys. I'll probably do a denim on foot with these just because I wanna show you how good the uh, it looks with a fit. But either way, pretty clean. I didn't show you the back portion with the monochrome on there as well. Deboss, Nike, Swoosh, Air, very, very clean. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna get out of here. If you guys uh, like the review, shoot me thumbs up. If there's any questions about the shoe, hit the comment section. And uh, if you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Thank you.